If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, Miles on the Road subscribers and followers. Well, guess what I got? Yep, got my computer. And a lot of you know what that means. Yeah, we're going to uh, talk about how much we spent for the month of October. October. Um, well, I, to be absolutely honest, uh, we did not do well this month. Um, but before I get into that, um, there's two rules to, to the, me discussing how much money we spend each month. Uh, and the first rule is we don't talk about insurance. Uh, anybody that knows anything about this channel knows that I don't get into politics and insurance becomes a very political uh, discussion. And number two, we only stay at free campsites. And if we don't stay at free campsites, then I'm going to let you know. Uh, well, oh, confession. We didn't stay at a free campsite for two weeks this month. Um, and let me explain because it's going to be a big portion of our, our budget here. Uh, we had a family emergency. Um, and so we had to leave Florida. We were in a national forest for the first two weeks of uh, October. And we had to leave the national forest to come to Missouri. Well, it was an emergency. We, we didn't do a lot of research about where we were going to stay, how we were going to handle any of this. So we just went to a paid campsite. We went to uh, Merrimack State Park in Sullivan, Missouri, uh, and got us by so we could take care of the family member. The family member... Uh, is uh, very sick uh, is going to be spending a lot of time in the hospital uh, trying to get things you know get herself taken care of uh, while we're up here we're going to be doing a lot of traveling getting this person to the getting her to the uh, uh, to the hospital each day uh, and there's two different hospitals that she's got to go to um, it's a very serious situation so um, fortunately we had an emergency fund that's going to cover a lot of this uh, and uh, you know, the family's trying to come together and pull monies together and all that so to help us out so we can take care of this family member. The budget is really messed up. I wasn't even sure how to really talk to you because usually each month I have six categories that we talk about and I go through the six categories. So what I've decided to do is go through the six categories and the emergency budget. Now, the emergency budget, look, our, our regular budget is a lot less this month because it got transferred over to the emergency. So for example, our food is only half of what we normally spend. Well, you're gonna ask, well, how come you, uh, you only spent half on food? Didn't you eat the second half of the month? We did. The problem is we had to eat out a lot because going to the hospital each day didn't lend a lot of time to cooking. So we had to eat out, which went towards the emergency fund. So we, we left it there in the emergency fund instead of saying okay this is what it costs to live in a camper because that's not a true statement so basically what you're going to see is everything after the emergency fund is only covering two weeks the other two weeks were all covered under the emergency fund um is there any other oh we had to buy medication for for the family member uh so that went into the emergency fund if that makes sense so there's no way i could just say okay this is what it costs to live in a camper when we had to buy someone else's medication. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's get started with the emergency fund. So for two weeks in an emergency, it cost us $855. Now, if anybody knows what we spend each month, we only spend about 650 bucks. We budget 800 bucks. So uh, usually we're coming under budget every month. For the last seven months, we've kind of under budget. What is interesting, was it seven or eight months? Seven months? Anyway, it doesn't matter. What is interesting, all the money that we have saved, those $150 a month, $200 a month, whatever it is, uh, actually covered the emergency fund. So we're, we're not any worse shape than if we had just spent $800 a month. We're actually in really good shape, considering the emergency has arrived. So... That, that's a, that's pretty good. Okay, the next category is generator. Normally, we spend forty dollars in gas on the generator. Um, this week month, we only spent twenty bucks, exactly half. And the way that worked out is because we had a plug-in site. 
we stayed at a plug-in site. Gas, gas for the two weeks um, is actually up. While we were at the National Forest, we had to travel regularly to town so we, because we didn't have a phone signal. We had internet, but we didn't have phone. So we had to travel to town regularly to contact the person that was sick. So I went ahead, and I know you're going to probably think maybe that should, but it was just too complicated. Maybe that should have went on an emergency fund. Maybe it should have stayed on the camping fund. But since we were at the free campsite, I decided we're going to put it on the cam the, the, the regular budget. Uh, so it came up to 120 bucks, which is exactly what we budget uh, every month for gas. So all this traveling took us uh, using all that gas. Okay, food. Um, spent... Um, $94.64 on food for those two weeks. Again, for the last two weeks, I could not find one thing that uh, suggested that we ate in the camper. It looks like that we ate out every day since, since the emergency has, aris has arrived. Uh, so, it is what it is. Um, while we were at the campsite, we went out to eat once. And that was $18.39. Okay, communication. Um, communication is what I categorize for our cell phone, for our internet, and for Netflix. So, um, our truck, I, I love explaining this because every time I do, people ask a lot of questions. Our truck provides our internet. The, it's through OnStar, but I don't have to buy the OnStar package. I can just buy the internet service. And that's through AT&T. And AT&T charges us $20 a month for 100 gigabytes of internet uh, through our truck. And so our truck provides Wi-Fi to four devices, which is really cool because the truck's parked right here. Carolyn's in the camper, and she is on the internet. Actually, I'm on the internet too, sitting here on my computer. So it, it's pretty neat, and it's only 20 bucks. So, I mean, it's well worth it. Anyway, so our communication cost came to $74.05, and that's a stationary cost. It's the same cost every month. Okay, next, miscellaneous. Uh, we didn't have a lot of miscellaneous cost either. Um, a dollar General came to $23. Walmart came to $88.23. Walmart's always one of those things. Man, you just can't get around it for some reason. It's always expensive. Um... And my computer uh, fan broke. So I have devised a new fan on the bottom of it. Much more effective. It gives me a little base and everything. So I, I made it to keep my laptop going. So the fan on my laptop went out. And so I bought a fan from Ace. Battery operated fan. Uh, for 17 bucks. And I'm telling you, boy, I mean, the, the computer has not operated better with it being so cool. This is, this is doing a really good job. So... Uh, in my mind, I saved myself several hundred dollars not having to buy a new computer because I was able to fix the one I have. So, and as a nomad, you get creative like that a lot. I've uh, I replaced the power. I actually fixed the power cord. You know, the little box that comes on the power cord for the computer. I've actually fixed that before on this computer. So, uh, you know, I've I've saved myself a lot of money on this computer by doing it myself. Okay, so the total, including the emergency fund which I said, you know, we're, we're probably going to get reversed on this, came to $1,312. Now, if I take off the $856 that came off the emergency fund, that means that we spent $456 for the two weeks. Now, remember, the gas price was up. If we took half of that gas price off, you know, we're down to, you know, what, $350, $375? So again, it looks like that we're right in the ballpark of our budget of $800. Well, actually, I think we're going to be under that. It probably came to $700. Um, so once again, I think we came well under budget for the two weeks. It's not a real fair assessment, but pretty close. Uh, this month has been really extreme. Now, if you look at it, $1,300 with a major emergency, which required us to travel from Florida to Missouri in over a weekend, non-stop travel, just drove. We stopped at a rest stop, got some sleep, kept on going. Um, we've had to pay for $450 
just for campsites. That was half of the emergency money that we spent. So uh, I think we've done pretty good, all things considered. $1,300 in my mind is a still a far cry from the money that we would have spent in a stick and brick. Now imagine if you're in a stick and brick and an emergency happens. Uh, I've talked about this in one of the other videos. You know, you gotta go get the babysitter for the dog, you gotta get the, you know, all the airplane tickets and, and hotel costs and all this stuff. You know, if you think about hotel costs, um, it was $23 a day to stay at, at the state park. It was $86, I think, to stay at the hotel. So, I mean, you know, we save 60 bucks a day just by going to the, the, uh, the, the campsite. So, um, that's, that's what our budget is. You know, I try to bring it to you every month. It was just really complicated to figure out how to do it this month. So, anyway, I hope that gives you some insight on what a nomad has to go through if there's an emergency and how much it's going to cost. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video. And happy travels.